Yeah. Yo, it's your boy Okina, back at it again with some of that fire. I bet you've been wondering where your boy's been with the hot fire sauce videos. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, I know no one watches these. But I did promise in previous videos that I would put some LEDs in these controllers, and unlike my dad, I actually keep my promises. What happened to Disney World, Dad? I'm still waiting. Before I continue, I have to take care of one small problem. It's summertime in Tejas, and that makes it very hot. Mix that in with some Fly Pride Month, and you got yourself an epidemic. I bought this bug zapper online. I'm not going to include that in the description below, but I've been swatting these suckers all day. And let me tell you, the results are quite shocking. What you're going to need, of course, is some LEDs. And we got every color of the rainbow right here, but I'm going to go with purple. You're also going to need some resistors to get the right amount of power going to your LEDs. Let's get started by opening up the controller, and I'll show you where to install these LEDs. Trust me, I'm a professional. I've now mastered LEDs. <clears throat> of course I didn't need those pictures, it was just a little refresher for y'all. Let's go ahead and get started, opening up the controller. The controller is now open, and as you can see, Nintendo has made it very easy for you to put an LED in here, with the positive side being here, and the negative side being here. If only my Japanese anime girlfriend was that easy, I'd be in business. We got our soldier iron getting hot like your boy Okina over here. What we're gonna go ahead and do now is solder on the resistor to our LED. Just remember that the long leg on the LED is going to be the positive. We got the LED all soldered up. And then we're gonna use a wire to connect the remaining negative part to the negative part on the controller here. We got the LED on. It's not the prettiest job, but it should work. Let's go ahead and test this out. Since we saw that the LED worked, I plugged it back in, put the back on, now we're gonna play a game of Smash real quick, see how it reacts. I know I just faced that jiggly puff, but that was jiggly tough. I hope I made this easy enough for you. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, comment, and like the video. It really does help me out. And uh, if you comment, go ahead and let me know what you want me to do next. I am running out of ideas over here. Again, it's your boy Okina, always building. See you on the next episode.